Mason Greenwood transfer, Marseille stance on ditching move after brutal statement. Marseille have agreed a deal to sign Man Utid forward. Mason Greenwood on a permanent transfer, but the move still has several hurdles to overcome before it is made official. And Italian side, Lazio also remain keen on the 22-year-old. Marseille have not been deterred in their quest to sign Manchester United forward Mason Greenwood, despite fierce criticism from the city's mayor, Benoit Payan. Greenwood has not featured for United since January 2022, when he was suspended by the club following his arrest for attempted rape, engaging in controlling and coercive behavior, and assault occasioning actual bodily harm, Greenwood saw the case against him discontinued when the Crown Prosecution Service withdrew all charges, following the withdrawal of cooperation from key witnesses. Speaking to RMC Sport earlier this week, Payan made it clear that he strongly opposes the transfer after the League One Giants saw a bid accepted by United. Payan said, I do not want my club to be covered in shame. It is not acceptable. Marseille fans have also been attempting to get the hashtag Hash Greenwood Not Welcome trending on social media platform X. The deal that could see the former Getafe Loney move to the south of France is worth a reported £26.7 million, £23.3 million as a fixed fee, £3.4 million in add-ons plus a whopping 50% sell-on clause. However, despite an agreement between the clubs, Greenwood is yet to agree personal terms with Marseille, and sources suggest the player is hesitant to complete the move following Payan's statement. Despite suffering abuse from opposition fans in La Liga, Greenwood was welcomed wholeheartedly at Getafe, who had shown interest in another loan, but United favored a permanent sale this summer. Lazio continue to circle and would be prepared to include a substantial release clause in any deal to land the winger, though they are yet to have a bid accepted by United. The 22-year-old met with Old Trafford Chiefs on Monday at Carrington, in which he was told he was free to find a new club and that he would not be returning to pre-season training with the Red Devils. Former Brighton boss Roberto De Zerbi, who was recently appointed Marseille head coach, said on a potential transfer earlier this week, I don't know his Greenwood's past. I don't know exactly what happened. Honestly, I don't like interfering in players' lives. I have nothing to say about this. The only thing I can tell you, it doesn't matter who the player is. Once he signs for the club where I work, so here, they become like my children. I protect them against all the odds. Meanwhile, Marseille have also shown an initial interest in Arsenal striker Eddie Inquetia. Marseille's stance on potentially ditching the Mason Greenwood transfer deal became a focal point after a brutal statement from their club officials. The situation unfolded amidst intense negotiations between Manchester United and Marseille over the promising young striker's future. Initially, Marseille had expressed keen interest in acquiring Greenwood, viewing him as a transformative addition to their squad. The negotiations had progressed significantly, with both clubs reportedly nearing an agreement on the transfer fee and contractual terms. Marseille's ambitious plans to bolster their attacking lineup had hinged on Greenwood's potential arrival, as they sought to challenge for top honors domestically and in European competitions. However, tensions escalated when Marseille issued a blunt and unexpected statement, criticizing Greenwood's agent for allegedly making unreasonable demands during the negotiation process. The statement, characterized by its directness and severity, hinted at a breakdown in communication and trust between the parties involved. In response, Manchester United swiftly reaffirmed their commitment to Greenwood, highlighting his importance to their future plans and dismissing Marseille's accusations as misunderstandings that could be resolved through constructive dialogue. The club's management emphasized their belief in Greenwood's talent and development potential, reiterating their intention to nurture his career within their ranks. Amidst the controversy, speculations swirled within football circles about the potential consequences of Marseille's statement on the transfer deal's outcome. 
Some pundits speculated that the rift could jeopardize Greenwood's move to Marseille, potentially prompting the player and his representatives to reconsider their options. As the saga unfolded, football enthusiasts and pundits alike closely monitored developments, eager to see how the situation would ultimately be resolved. The Mason-Greenwood transfer saga had unexpectedly taken a dramatic turn, underscoring the complexities and uncertainties inherent in modern football negotiations. Meanwhile, in other news, additionally on a related note, furthermore, as for turning to elsewhere. In the meantime, moving on. Man United may face Manuel Ugarte FFP transfer issue Sir Jim Ratcliffe has tried to avoid. Manchester United reportedly hold an interest in PSG midfielder Manuel Ugarte, but there could be an issue with their transfer approach. Heading into the summer transfer window, Manchester United co-owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe had some clear objectives. Firstly, he wants to improve the squad while also being mindful of the financial fair play FFP constraints, which restrict how much the Reds can pay for a player. Secondly, he wants to inject a youthful edge into the squad. This goal is twofold as it would see United purchase players who have resale value while also possessing a longer shelf life for which they can benefit the team. Finally, Ratcliffe aims to cut the wage bill at United to ensure they are not the highest spenders in the league. With all this in mind, Sky Sports News reports that the Reds hold an interest in PSG midfielder Manuel Ugarte. The 23-year-old ticks the youth box, and at 23 he should also offer resale value in the future. As always though, there is a catch. For starters, Ugarte is on a contract in the French capital which expires in 2028, meaning Luis Enrique's side could afford to drive up a significant sum this summer. However, the bigger concern for United and Ratcliffe can be found when looking at why Chelsea's interest in the Uruguayan dropped last summer. According to journalist Fabrizio Romano, Maurizio Pochettino personally requested the Blues target Ugarte in the summer to fill their defensive midfield gap, having worked with him at PSG the season prior. It is believed Pochettino was adamant Ugarte could make a difference in the Premier League, but Chelsea would pull out of negotiations in June when it came to light how much PSG was offering him. To put this into some form of perspective, two months later, Chelsea would throw insane amounts of cash at Brighton and Hove Albion's defensive midfielder Moises Caicedo to bring him to Stamford Bridge. The concern for Ratcliffe is that this is exactly the scenario he has been looking to avoid this summer. He has been adamant the wage bill needs to be lower than current levels, so if reports regarding Ugarte's salary are correct, United will fall at the second hurdle even if a fee can be agreed. Manchester United's reported interest in PSG midfielder Manuel Ugarte has sparked intrigue among football enthusiasts, highlighting their pursuit of midfield reinforcements. However, potential issues with their transfer approach could complicate negotiations or delay a deal for the Uruguayan midfielder. Issues surrounding transfer approaches can range from financial considerations to competition from other clubs vying for the same player. In the case of Manuel Ugarte, United may need to navigate challenges such as negotiating a suitable transfer fee with PSG, ensuring the player's desire to move, and potentially addressing any contractual complexities. Furthermore, the dynamics of the transfer market can influence United's strategy in pursuing Ugarte. The club's recruitment team may need to strategize effectively to secure his services amidst competing interests from other clubs or unforeseen obstacles that could arise during negotiations. As the transfer window progresses, fans and pundits will closely monitor developments regarding United's pursuit of Manuel Ugarte. The resolution of any issues with their approach will be crucial in determining whether the talented midfielder will join the Red Devils and strengthen their midfield options for the upcoming season. The potential financial fair play FFP transfer issue involving Manuel Ugarte and Manchester United could complicate the club's pursuit of the PSG midfielder. FFP regulations aim to ensure clubs operate within their financial means and avoid excessive spending, 
which could lead to sanctions or restrictions if breached. Sir Jim Ratcliffe, as a co-owner of Manchester United, is likely keen on adhering to FFP guidelines to maintain the club's financial stability and compliance with football governing bodies. Any perceived risk of exceeding FFP limits due to significant transfer expenditures could prompt caution in United's approach to signing players like Ugarte. For United, navigating FFP concerns involves careful financial planning, possibly including player sales or structured payment arrangements to mitigate immediate financial impacts. Such strategies are common among top clubs aiming to strengthen their squads while staying within regulatory limits. The scrutiny surrounding FFP underscores the complexities of modern football transfers, where financial prudence and strategic planning are essential alongside sporting ambitions. As United evaluates their options in the transfer market, addressing potential FFP issues surrounding Manuel Ugarte's acquisition will be a crucial aspect in shaping their summer recruitment strategy.